Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a video with me driving the E50, which is a tier 9 German medium tank and it's kind of not like any other medium tank you have. This is basically also called a Rampanzer, I believe, and that's for good reason because it has pretty good armor, it's a little bit sluggish in the movement, it has a, quite a decent gun, but more it's just not a typical medium, it's like more about the ramming generally than the medium stuff. And I have a feeling that my way of driving this tank is a little unconventional and I honestly don't mind it. It's quite a fun tank and I drive it like most mediums. I'm not really one to just ram people, which is generally why I just go uh, at it like I do in this game. I'm generally not really one to just uh, drive a tank in the way that it's meant to be. This is also because of the sniper mode, so I just do different things. I do get a nice blind kill over there and then I just go forwards because this tank has quite good armor and as such it's very troll, uh, especially if you angle it a little bit and especially if you're top tier. So I fully intend to just go forwards and just be really mean. Get a nice shot in there, he misses me by a mile and then this guy comes but I don't really have the gun depression to shoot him. So I activate my adrenaline, bounce on his frontal plate, switch to APCR to make sure that I actually pen him the next time. But then I actually noob again, switch back to AP and just bounce again. Which means that for this guy I'm generally gonna be shooting him with Primo all the time. I get a nice shot into him, nice bounce on me. And now I just need to decide who to pick. Uh, but he pulls back, this guy is just going forward so well that I can just shoot him. But I pull back before his teammate can shoot me. And then it's just a matter of seeing which way I can shoot first. Now this guy is just standing there, so I shoot him first. Then I go forwards, not necessarily because I want to take the shot, but I do it because it makes him pull back, which means that I get the kill. And that's the thing, with the army that this tank has, you sometimes can afford to just be mean like that. And just make sure that you get the actual kill. Now that was a really silly shot of mine, and I just go forwards then. Because there's only two enemies left, there's five of us, so I can be very aggressive because there's very little chance that we won't actually win this game and that generally brings out my inner YOLO. But because the next enemy that I face is the E75, I generally tend to switch to Premo almost straight away. In this case I get a nice fire with just AP and I start shooting him while he's focusing on my teammate which is probably gonna die because there's very little HP left and if he as much as bumps into him he'll be dead. I should hit the building again, which is not really a good thing. He kills my teammate and I just wait until I get a free shot because he's still reloading and I'm not too worried because I have plenty of HP so he can shoot me and I don't mind. And I know that I need to be straight in front of him if I want to pen him and you see me bounce. But now he bounces because I was turning and that just makes my armor all more troll. But then my teammate hits him and I drive into him because it makes him stand still and that means that I can shoot his cupola very easily. And now there's only one guy left, I have 5 kills, so it would be really nice if we could get a pulse medal out of this one. But with 4 teammates still left alive, that is never a given and you never know how it's gonna end. So I peek out quite aggressively, wanting the damage as well. I shoot his gun, which does no damage whatsoever. And then I just peek to see if I can troll him into trying to shoot me, but he doesn't. So I get a shot in, now I realize that he's one shot from me, but other people will kill him too. And he pulls back and I'm like, why? But then my teammate shoots him, I zoom past, I get the kill and there's a nice bull battle. Overall, I think that I had a pretty sweet game here and though I wasn't quite surprised, I was still very happy to see that little golden man there, because this was just a really fun game. And I think you can say that I quite carried this game. But this is of course not the only game that I have in this review and this one is one that I like for all different kinds of reasons. It's Supremacy, uh, which I generally love. So I head on to base C and it's quite a few bit fast forwarded in this game, mostly because nothing really is happening and I'm just capping at base and I'm not shooting anyone yet. So I just head on straight to base B because most of the team is at base A, which means that I have just one guy here. And that means that it will be worth my while to just be very aggressive here and save my team and keep the enemy team from getting uh, two bases. So I phase up him, which is the right thing to do in this tank because your lower plate is your weakness. I shoot his gun, which is useless. I do take a shot from him there, but I fix it. 
and then I just wait until I can shoot him again before I just ram into him again or at least get as close to him as possible so that he can't shoot me again. Now he bounces, I kill him and then I start capping the second base but my team is get steadily getting slaughtered and my teammate definitely needs help. I can't really shoot him so I go to the edge of the base, wait for him to get into my uh, vision and then I just shoot him. But my teammate still dies which doesn't really help matters. And I just st stay here in the middle mostly because I want to make sure that I do what is needed and that in this case it doesn't mean go straight into the enemy team and go for YOLO. But this guy is hiding behind a rock so it's not really much uh, worth my time to just stay here and try and shoot him. He doesn't even try to peek out. He's aiming at my teammate now so I decide to just pull back and go to another position to see if I can shoot him from there or his teammates. Now they found the camper, I land a shot into him and then just basically leave him because he's likely going to be dead before I reload anyway. And, and then I turn back towards the enemy, the other enemy behind the rock, which I can now actually shoot. He goes forwards, which is not a good decision because now he's out in the open. And I try to help my teammate. I bounce on the turret of the guy and that is not really helpful. The He's the Ferdinand is not really happy with me, especially when I manage to just completely noob that shot. But I decide to stay behind the buildings mostly because where I am right now, I'm in a pretty good position. I can go elsewhere if I need to. That guy is complete potato. He's just uh, peeking out in a way that le lets me shoot him so easily. So when he does so again, I shoot him again and then I kill him off. And now there's only the one guy left. I have plenty of HP left, so now... I don't mind going a bit YOLO and just going for the full uh, confrontation. So I just go forwards and ram him, because that's what you do in this tank. Over angle by a mile, so I do take damage there. But he has a lot less, um, less HP left than I do, so I know that I'm going to win this anyway. So I don't mind if he shoots me and bends me, because there's only just one reload left and then he's dead. we week one. And that was a pretty sweet game, even though I stayed in the middle quite a bit. So overall, I quite like this game and I was quite happy again with the little golem M that showed up here. And again, 4k damage is really not that bad in this tank. And the massive amount of H uh, XP that I got here is also because of 684 supremacy points. I love supremacy. I Over the last couple of weeks, I've basically been playing only supremacy if I could get away with it. Now, this is the last game in the series and it's quite long. But I start by going to base C, get a shot in the side, but I do get a shot in, which is quite sneaky. And the reason that I go here is because this is a very troll cap to take. And it's not necessarily about taking the cap, it's just about trolling, about being there. But the whole enemy team is there, which isn't all that nice. But I'm more worried about this IS-4 here, even though he seems to not be preoccupied with me at all. So I get a nice shot in. I'm basically troll capping. I don't care if I get the camp or not, because I know that I can't really stay put in the camp as long as I want to. And actually cap it without uh, paying the price very dearly. Now, I only track him with that shot, which is completely useless. So I switch to APCR. Really want to shoot this guy, because the more he's in my face, the more difficult this game will be. And you'll find that he's the most worthy adversary, basically, that I could have. I bounce a shot, but not the one by the IS-4. This uh, KP just stands there, basically shows me all his weak spots. And I pull back again before the IS-4 can shoot me. Now, I'm in a bit of a pickle, because with the enemy positions, I can't really do much where I am right now. I can only troll the IS-4 into missing his shots on me. And uh, be, try and be aggressive when he peeks out like this. But he's like completely red and that this is with calibrated shells and everything. So this is a tricky, uh, tricky tank to kill basically. And I'm lucky with that bounce because I'm barely any HP left. And if he had just tried to HE me, I would have been dead. So I try to see if I can shoot someone else instead. But I have to be careful with the IS-4 because he could just peek out and try and shoot me. He shoots the rock when I pull back in time. But this is a very tricky position because I can't shoot him. I can't really move anywhere without getting killed. And I just need to be careful. I managed to shoot the one little red part of that tank that I can't actually pen. 
and, and then I just notice the waffle here and I shoot him and I kill him and that's one more gun out of the way but so far no one has kept the base yet and this just means that we're all just waiting for someone else to do something so I know that I need to try and take out that IS-4 he's still giving me the evil eye which doesn't help matters I'm still troll capping and I know that I'm unlikely to actually be able to cap I can't shoot him because my gun doesn't stabilize enough for me to do so and I have the stupid rock but I do finally just stay here and actually cap that base. And this is the tricky part because I never have faith in my team being able to do stuff and I noticed that the E1 is over there is driving somewhere towards the middle so I'm just staying here, keep my eye on the IS-4 over there, change my position just a little bit and then just wait for the guy to pop up again because he's driving here. He's giving me the evil eye, he wants to kill me while I kill him first, which helps. He does spot me though, and I need to be careful with the IS-4 again, especially when he pushes a bit like that. And I switch to APCR to see if I can shoot him, but you can already see he's still in a very good old down position. I can't really do much of anything against him, and I really want my team to kill him, because as long as the IS-4 is there, I can't really go anywhere, do anything. And that is frustrating, but I do have a nice shot on the Leo over here, and manage to kill him as well. And then there's just the Death Star and the IS-4, the really annoying IS-4. And I just go here more and just see if I can get into a position where I can get some shots into him. Either into him or the Death Star, I don't really care which. But I feel quite useless being here right now. I do have the base though, and that is definitely a lucky thing. Because it does add some nice uh, points. But he's giving me the evil. I know the uh, FE generally can just shoot me with HE and I'd be dead. And now the IS-4 is making his move and I know I need to be careful. And I managed to get a bounce there. Shoot the building, which isn't very wise. Because I really should have just focused on shooting this IS-4 instead. I do get one more shot in, but it doesn't kill him. And he kills me. And that's the end of me. But it's not the end of the game, because we still have the object 263 left, and I decided to just follow him for a little bit, because I felt like I had a pretty sweet game, and I wanted to know how it ends. And now, because the IS-4 barely has any HP left, I just adv um, basically advise him to use HE, because he should be able to kill him with that. And you never know how much of a potato someone is. The IS-4 is now capping the base, which basically just shows the object exactly where he is. But the object needs to be careful as well, because if he does get shot, it might be a big problem for him. And, but there's only a little bit of time left, and I do give him that notice as well. And the IS-4 really is a good player, at least he's doing very well in this game, because now he's using my corpse as cover, and he's trying to troll the Object 263 to actually shoot him. But the Object 263 isn't really a bad player as well, so he just waits patiently until he gets the shot, and then he makes it. And that was just absolutely lovely. This was lovely to see. Lovely teammates, lovely game. And another little golden M, which was really good fun. I did lose uh, some credits there. I didn't do 4k damage this game, but in a way it was the most interesting one of the bunch. So all in all, this tank is quite a bit of fun. It's called the Rampanzer for a reason, though you'd not see me run much in this uh, video. But I hope you like my little review-ish kind of thing again. And I'll be seeing you guys the next time again.